Hi guys, welcome to the flight today. As we're with the uh, Zebo 737-800, the latest version 3.52. It's got the patch in as well. I think it's 0.2. As we're with Austrian Airlines, and we're going to be going to uh, Bosnia, down into uh, Sarajevo Airport. We're leaving out runway 16, coming in for 11 or 12. That's on Navigraph. As we uh, depart out, we're using the uh, new joystick and throttle, the Thrustmaster. T16000M with the throttle quadrant as well and I must say it is a lot better more uh, maneuverability and more control it's more precise so it is a, uh, it's a good joystick to have so don't forget to like and subscribe guys do comments down below as we're down here in Vienna ready to start up on our procedures so let's get into the cockpit and start the aircraft up here we are now in the 737-800, we'll go overhead now, we've got the battery on guarded, standby power is guarded and ground power is on, we've got the one pump on for the APU as we get it ready to low pressure on as EGT now starts to increase, we can arm the emergency lights, get no smoking on, faster seatbelts which can be set, get our position light, logo, anti-collision can all go on, all of our window heat. As we get the IRS is aligned now, so we switch them over to NAV which is checked, test off the flaps. Got a dome light as well, if we wanted to light the cockpit up any further. We'll test the uh, flight recorder, which is checked. Research are both on, packs are auto. Isolation valve is open, and we get the APU bleed on as well. EGT will start to fall as we get the aircraft now ready to leave. We've got all those in as well, so we'll see how the flight goes, depending, and we'll get a uh, wing view out on 4K. So that is everything uh, overhead now, which is all good to go. We just wait for the APU to come over and then we'll switch that through. There's the APU gen, which will switch down. We're going to bat and uh, APU gen, which is set and checked. As we get all of our panel lights in now, ready to go. So down to the FMC we go. On for our positioning, we're down in Vienna, which is the Lima Oscar Whiskey Whiskey. I'm going to punch this all in, it's all going to come in as well. Oh, there's the iris position which will come through as we see so we've got Lima Oscar whiskey whiskey we'll set that back down on the iris just quickly so there it was it is in coming down here for Sarajevo we've got Lima Quebec Sierra Alpha Leaving out on the departure, we're leaving out on the uh, Steen 4 Bravo. And we're going to be leaving on runway 16. Off for the next part of the routing, as we uh, start to make our way through, we're going direct to uh, Noha. From Noha, we're then going direct to Capri. Is then going to take us to Lurid. And Lurid is going to take us to Bosna for the arrival. So there's Bosna. We're coming in on the uh, Bosna 1 November. We're going to take the uh, special ILS X runway 11. So there's the Bosna 1 November. We're taking the ILS X ray 11 and transition for Norpy. As we see on the arrival here, we are going to come from Norby, 25 nautical miles. Initial approach fix, we all the way down to 21 with Dimi from the Kilo Echo Bravo, which is the VOR for the 116.7, where we break away onto 18 Dimi on just crossing over to Sharajevo VOR for the 116.0, as we then set for rivers for our initial fix at 5,400 feet, coming down onto the 113, ready for the glide slope at 7.5 Dimi on the localizer for the Bravo Hotel Sierra at 4,200 feet. So that is us all there, 202 minimums and 3.2 degree glide path. Got a uh, NTB of 405. So as we're getting the aircraft now uh, fully configured and ready to go, that's the route all set. So we can activate that up. Go into the Perth, get everything all set. We've got reserves of one. Coming out on the cost index today for the flight, we're going to be taking a cost index of 25. Flight level 280, we'll take out for we come out for the cruise wind 058035. 
And that's going to give us down. We've gone minus 51. Okay, we just checked. On for the M1 limit, full takeoff uh, into climb 1. Taking the flaps 5. Go down and get the winds. 140 at 17. Okay, set 140142 and 1504 V2. Okay, which is set. Leaving out the departure runway 116, that's going to leave us out onto the 157 heading. Okay, which is checked. And the departure is going to leave us out on the 159, all the way to the Whiskey Whiskey 268, which then brings us down to the 403, and there is Steen. Initial climb clearance is 5,000, we're going to rise up as we go forward to 80. Okay, which is checked, we can go in and get the electric hydraulics on, 280, which is in, and elevation coming down onto the runway 1705. Okay, 170, which is checked and set. Get all the fuel pumps in now as we are getting ready to go. We can get the oil damper on and get the doors all shut and ready for departure. Tuck's now going to drive us up and get ready to leave. We can put on TA on for the transponder. Out of the departure, leaving out, we have got the 110 decimal 4, which we can shove in for the BOR. Okay, which is in, we can see that for the Foxtrot Mike Delta, which is in, we're basically coming straight out and then hitting the 177, which takes us all the way to Steam. So, as Tug now comes and gets ready to uh, lift us up, the aircraft is going to be fully ready to go. So, flight directors are all at all. Auto break is RTO, which is checked. We can see we've got the whiskey whiskeys coming out on the departure, center of gravity leaving. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Set, parking brake. 27.2, parking brake is set. Taking full takeoff today as we leave. On Thrustmaster. Uh, new joystick controls. They are very precise. They're a lot better than the Hotas, but the Hotas are very good at the uh, yoke control. I've had them for only three years, so it's actually a really, uh, really good throttle to have. It's very uh, cheap as well, so it's not very expensive. As we get the Q and H's leaving out of uh, runway one six, we've got Q and H of one zero two eight. Now connected and bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. 102A, parking brake can be released. Starting pushback, and you may start the engines. Okay, so as we get ready now to start the engines, we go for engine both, we go for engine number two. Start valves open, and two is increasing, all pressure temps will come to life, and the 25 cylinder injector fuel when CEGT starts to increase. So we see EGT starting to stabilise now. As we now go for engine number one. So start valve is open into increasing. All pressure and temps will come to life and 25% will inject fuel. You can see EGT start to increase. came on for over 58%, which is checked, we can now switch over the buses, go over to Gen 1, which is also checked and set for us, we get the Pro-Peds on, 
packs can go to auto, isolation valve is auto, engine release can go on, but AP bleed which is off, you can turn the AP off, and the engine starts switches to continuous, and we are now ready to go. Operation complete, please set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow, stand by. So as we stand by now, ready for the uh, departure, got everything overhead which is all set, 280 set on the pressurization. Coming out on the 157. As you can see, as we roll out, we're going to come out onto the 177, which will bring us all the way through to uh, Nomat, and then from Nomat, we're then going to proceed out onto that left hand turn to Lurid for our top of descent. So, very quick departure. As well, the Fox Shop Mike Delta be along, which is just going to basically track us off. And then at Norhead, we'll take that left hand turn to intercept. That tower is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. I'll see you next time and have a safe flight. See you soon. Bye bye. So we've got 4.75 on the trim. As we bring the control column over now. So the New throttles, the new Thrustmaster uh, T6000 or 16000M is a really nice uh, throttle and joystick. Had to loosen the uh, screw for the throttle quadrant as it was a little bit too stiff, but that's absolutely uh, great now. So it's nice and loose and just has that tension, enough tension to hold that you can move it very smoothly. So now we're going down into a flaps 5. So now move off, we can go over to our display unit where we now check on. So we'll full left, full right, full forward, full backwards, and right left, and right right, we'll do full right again, which is checked. Hydraulic pressure, quantity 8578, and we are now ready to go, so we have now been given the go-ahead and we are ready to leave. So we are now ready to taxi, we can check the taxi charts on for the departure route. So taxi and we're going to basically go straight down, we'll uh, come out onto uh, Delta, hit the Bravo one. We'll line up and get as much runway as we can, so we can now release the parking brakes, we can now power on up. Taxi lights can go on, which are checked. So the throttle quadrant is very nice to use, along with the uh, joystick, there's many buttons you can configure as well. You can see it would be very precise, so this would be very good if we were using like the 727 for the EPR control as we do it all manually, as it doesn't have an auto throttle. Again, arm the auto throttle as well, which we checked and set for us 150, leaving out for V2. You can have LNL on after 400 feet, that will initiate coming out on the head and select, which is coming out on the 157. As we already input the winds, etc., for our uh, departure out. Just double check, just to update some, just to see what we've got when we uh, leave in. When we come into uh, Sarajevo, it's going to be 1026 on the QH. Uh, we're looking for variable 2 knots, so it should be quite nice for us. Some more power in. And you have a lot of room with the joystick as well. With your motions, you, uh, you don't have to move a lot. So we'll see today how precise it is when we come down on the arrival. Everything's all in and set for us. So you can see we're coming down to the end now where we're going to make a left, a right and then a left, we can follow it all the way down to the end from here. Flaps 5 is engaged.
Toga boat coming out for full Toga for climb one come in. As you can see as we spin around now, we're we'll taking the second right. Lemonai upon two runway one six ready for the departure. So we're gonna get El Nevin, which is armed head and slit, which will come in as we'll come up on to the one five seven once we line up. Much more precise control on the throttle quadrant. Got a much larger range as well. So in the cabin to get ready to go. This is our right hand turn for runway 16. As we get ready now to line up, we'll go over the whole short line and get the stripes on. Checked when we turn the flights can go on, and then just before takeoff, we get the landing lights on and be all ready to go. So, strobes can now go on, which are checked when we turn the flights can go on, take the taxi lights off as it is daylight. Auto throttle is armed, auto brake is RTO, coming out for 1570 for V2, coming down on for takeoff. Want to do is acceleration height, climb one reduction at 800. Be checked here, uh, I'll put in for 2000, which should be set. So there we are now, all set and ready to go. Just change the view just a little bit. Okay, so we are now ready to go. We can just zoom down on for the departure as we leave out for 157. Let me take it out onto the 177. Leave it out that from the 180 to steam. So, without further ado, we've got the landing lights on, taxis are off, engine starts, which is continuous. We are all set and ready to leave. So, brakes can be turned off, power up to 40%. Push forward on con. Stabilized and token. Airspeed live. Eighty knots. Check. Throw hold. One hundred. Make sure the column. Rotate. Rotate. Pause the parade. Get up. Four hundred. Check. Down now is now engaged. Eight hundred feet. Climb one's going to come in. Just slow it One thousand. One thousand. Checked. As you know, get the aircraft bugged up to our phone's up speed. Just check, so we'll just slow down on the PFD, passing through at 2,100 feet. As the aircraft now begins to slowly climb on its speed up to uh, 220. As we head down from 157, we're going to then take that down onto the 177. 
Uh, just keeping it with our pitch. Don't want to go too low as we're going to speed up very fast. Auto brake can be uh, turned off. We can get the uh, gear which can also go off as well. Okay, which is off. I'm just holding that 181 now, ready to go on to that 177. Now it's just checked. And some trim as well. Got to hold the aircraft nice and stable, coming into flaps one. We're going to lose a little bit of momentum because of the flap setting. As we're then coming to a flaps one, and then we'll go into flaps up. Hold the 215. Feet. Perhaps can be now retracted, put V now in. As I run for the 177, get ready for that right hand turn. That aircraft is very nice and stable as we're just following the PFD. It's a little rocky going out, we've got 15 knot winds. As they're going to ride up to 250 on our speed. Seabots will be off after 10,000 feet as pass through 6,005. Run now, ourselves down onto the 177, which is going to bring us to the 123. But so we get to the whiskey whiskey, your 403. All the way for no hand, then we've got Compre on for our top of descent, which is in 180 nautical miles. And on for the cruise, we've got 298 on the target. Coming down onto the descent. Well, decimal six, um, six five, is two eight one. It's passing eight thousand feet. We can go outside and take a close look.
knows how miles away from our uh, Woodred waypoint, ready for our uh, top of descent. It's going to reset the MCP altitude now and drop that down to 7,000 feet, which is maximum. As we come through now, taking that left hand turn from Woodred now to Bosna for the 157 side. So 157 is now in tracking the 127 towards the Kilo Echo Bravo, which is the 116.7. We're going to be going down to uh, Nopra which is uh, from Bosna. We're going to rise down to uh, Nopri, which is for uh, 9,000. Now we're above 9,000 for Nopri. Which we can see, Nopri, now we're above 9,000. So, as we rise through from Nopri, we're then going to then rise into the Arc, which is going to take us down 21 nautical miles from the VR. At 20, we don't make that right hand turn, which brings us on to the 18 dm Arc. And we can see on the arrival we have got the arc which is moving for us as we come down. You can see there's the arc which is going to rise us in. So as we now rise in for Montpellier, we've got the INS which is down for the 110.7 which is the Bravo Hotel Sierra, not the 113. So we've got the 127 in at first, we've got the 113 in which we checked. As well, we now speak tape as well. As we start to descend now past we find it all 270. Two eight zero on the descent down. As an hotel cabin crew to get ready, and we get the uh, seatbelt signs, which can't go back on. Yeah, the guests. Uh, ich darf Sie bitten, dass Sie auf Ihre Plätze zurückkehren und sich dort wieder anschneiden. Throw it down, idle. As well, through twenty six thousand feet, we can check down on vertical bearing. As we need drag, 30 rear is 2003, 3.1, vertical bearing is 2.9, so the aircraft needs to lift up just a little to hit the 2.9 for the vertical bearing. And then we'll get that onto our flight path angle, which will then uh, add up. As well as we find on 250, we're going to hit naval to break uh, number 3. We have to go in and calculate on our descent, so 53 to 46, which is going to be a 0.7. Take point seven, which would be sixty-six point two. We can take a uh, flaps thirty one four nine. If we get the meters coming in for the Jarvis Echo. Those are two six. We've got variable one, so we'll just plus five now, which will be fine. So flaps 3149 plus 5, which would be 8154. We've got to break number 3 coming in. As we descend now through a flight of 230, we can open up the speed brakes. The speed brakes will be armed once we are uh, them back in. As we pass, we find it will be 230. Through on our speed 281, we're going to rise out for rivers, which is going to be 13 dm from the uh, INS. Got 202 coming in for the minimums, which is going to give us a 1845. Fire, which gives us a 202. Once we're through 20,000 feet, we're going to be getting ready to go on to the 127, which is then going to track us in ready for them when we take that right hand turn, which will be for the uh, deep. Yeah, we're going feet now, we're going to get through to Bosna, and by the time we get down to uh, Nopra. That's where we're then going to be down for around uh, 9 to 11. So we've still got uh, just a little way to go now. So we get down to 10,000 feet, we'll drop the speed brakes and get the aircraft fully ready to go. Yeah, we have slight wind in the uh, vicinity coming down, we've got 28 just from the back. 13 DME to 5,400 feet. 
Nice to pass through 17,008. QH is coming in. Oh, going to be 1026, which we're going to switch over and transition, which is going to be 10,000 feet. Engine start switch is continuous, which I'll check. Everything overhead is all good. We can tell the cabin that we are ready to uh, come down. And we've got a VRF 30 plus 5, which will set our 5 4. Crossing through 16,000 feet, ready for that left hand turn onto the 127. Approaching Boston now, 60 meters ago. Camp 44 nautical miles, 25 DME now. Then 20 DME is where we're going to then make that right hand turn. 127 can be put. It was just checked. If our speed is 281, all the way to 250. Minus four as we come in. Now as we move over to a crosswind, we should start to uh, slowly start to slow down now. Speed brakes are armed. Must be 14,000 feet, get ready for the 1026 to come in. Thousand above, eleven thousand below. Tip up signs are on water break for number three. Minimums one eight four five for a two up two decision. Aircraft's gonna start to level off in just a few moments time as we go through from eleven thousand. Now it slows down to about two eight zero, so the aircraft's asking for drag. We'll leave it for the time being. Let's pass through 12,004. If we approach over to 3, then we'll open up the speed brakes. Speed brakes are on 1,008, coming in nice and hot for the arrival. Got the INS in for the 110.7. NTB, if we really wanted it, would be the 405. Take us 13 DME out from the uh, Kido is uh, Sierra. So the QNHs can now come over, which are 1026, which are checked. And 1026, which is also set and checked. So that's 10,000 feet now. And get a landing lights on. Aircraft will now start to decel. Start to get ready on for the control column. We've got the 113 coming in. And she's checked. Slowly slowing down now. Let's get ready for our hour of clean speed. Arrival. And we've got 
2250 is still in, speed brakes are open. It's going to continue to descend. We've got 5004, which is in, which will then finally take us down to 4002. Okay, speed brakes are in now. 4002, as we enter in now, 20 nautical miles out from the uh, arc. So you've got the ILS in as well for the Bravo Hotel Sierra, the 113, 20 nautical miles out. Continuing the descent, it's 8,100 feet. QNH is already in and programmed. As we check on our speeds, we can see 240 away for the arc for rivers, and then we'll start to slowly drop down for 162. So we've got a little bit of wind. As we come through, 240 holding, passing through 7006. which will catch in just a track without heading. There's one two four zero. And then we'll slowly start to get to our clean speed once we rise through. Auto brake number three is set. Landing lights are in. As we come around the bend. So we'll be testing out the and joystick and seeing what they can do for us today. So we can see some of the wind is knocking the aircraft about. So we will be having some fun today as we come in. Passing through 6004, we can see we've got our diesel coming up in just a few moments time. 16 nautical miles to go. So as we go to our approach checklist, we've got the QNHs which are set for 1026. We've got the minimum set for 1845 for 202 on the decision height. We're coming in for a VBM for 30 plus 5, which is a 154. Also brake number 3, which we checked and set, and we are fully configured for our right. So it's getting just a little bit rocky for the aircraft now as we're going to start to decel down to our flaps up speed. Horizon 5004, then we're going to hit for 4002. 4002, which is changed on the ATP altitude now as we slowly start to decel. Now to our flaps up speed 13 nautical miles an hour once we hit on for Delta 1138. our flaps up and then we can see our uh, next top of descent which is 6,000 at our diesel. There's the left hand turn, localizers over onto the right hand side which is now slowly moving over. We can see we hit the single channel, three of our locks in. And slow the aircraft down to a uh, flaps 5. So just there, we're going to be coming down for 4002, so I'm not going to on the approach just yet. And the aircraft to slow down just a little bit. As you can see, we've got winds that are blustery as well. In terms of glide slope, slowly just moves back. We'll get that in on for the single channel, which is all ready for us to go. As the aircraft's going to start to continue its descent down. 3.2 degrees on the descent. 1,000 to go. 1,000 to go for 4002. Perhaps 5, which is in. Starts down to flaps 10. Just give us a little bit more drag. 
All right, tunnels can be turned on as well, which are checked. They're now 4,700 feet. Runway is in sight. Temperature engaged, coming down from 4,000 to, as we just showed, 2,500, which is checked, we have altitude, which is set, glycopes in, flap 15, gear down. As we now have release on the uh, MCP speed window, we go down to flap 15, which is 161. Glycope is now in. As the aircraft's getting rocked about just a little bit. We are now all set for a landed. So landed, Shelly's got gear down three green. Coming down on flaps 15 now, but we're set for flaps 30. Also ready set for number three. Landing lights are all on and checked. Captain has been advised that we are on the single channel coming for the ILS X ray special for runway 11. 3,600 feet, it's starting to descend. It'll be uh, 4.3 DME. 3,001. So we'll drop down now into our flaps 30, which is going to be our 154. So, um, as I'm happy, we can test out the aircraft and uh, test out the joystick and throttle. So, so we're going to disconnect the autopilot and disconnect the auto throttle. And now I have control of the aircraft. So I just maintain control, One just throw back a little. One thousand checked. Just coming down at Ray Burke, probably around about 900 feet per minute to 850. thousand feet per minute. He's up just not to lose the uh, glide slope. Taxi back off of Bravo and we get the aircraft all fully and configured ready to come in. So, as we get ready to uh, taxi off, we can get all of our landing uh, lights on. So, we check when we turn off lights, get the taxis on, coming can be advised. As we get the flaps and speed brakes now fully retracted in, and we get the auto brakes which can be turned off as well. And there we are, guys, down here in uh, Jamis Java. Uh, apologies if I pronounced it uh, properly. It was a lovely arrival. We'll be doing a 4K wind view of this uh, flight. It was nice to be back in the Zebo, especially the updated one. And you can see that the uh, the preciseness from the HOTUS down in with the new joystick control, the uh, T16000M much much more precise on throttle input uh, a lot more lever leverage uh, 
got a lot more room with the joystick, a lot more circumference, which is nice to see. So you, when you flare, you really can pull into the stick. So I mean, for its price, I would say that it's definitely worth it, as it is a really nice joystick and throttle to use. Got much more room, got more uh, more leverage, as I say. So it's very nice and a lovely aircraft to fly with the Zebo. So taxi lights are all on, engine start switches can be turned off. It came down on with the engine anti-ice on as well, as it was currently five. As we're gonna get ready to park in right now on to stand, I'm gonna leave it with the landing cinematic skies. So don't forget to like and subscribe, leave your comments down below. Thanks again for joining me this evening, and I'll see you again for the next boat flight on the channel when we do our return on the 747-200, and we're gonna see if we can try and take her out of here. So see you all soon guys, take care for now, stay safe, bye bye.